Those are the basics, but we're more than that. I have my mother's temper and my father's perseverance and the sarcasm of my cousins. There are puzzle pieces inside of me that care too much about fuzzy animals, cheesy food, and stories. Every part of me made from what I love, and that, I think, is what we are truly made of. Nothing feels more right than finding the people who see both the forest and the trees, both the plot and the big picture, even when you're not quite done writing it yet. They just fit. They just get you, and when you look at them, it's like, where have you been this whole time? For some of us, we go from strangers to friends, or friends to lovers, or lovers to strangers again. We trade our names, our favorite colors, our hopes and dreams, and soon enough, a part of me is me, and a part of me is also you. When I was about two feet tall, I was made of Disney, cartoons, and picture books, and I, I've outgrown those mostly. Picture books to comics, to novels, Renaissance Disney to CGI Disney? I think Zootopia is good. Okay. <laughs> and now it seems I didn't change one bit, really. But really, like outgrowing clothes, these pieces don't stay. And we will change and are changing, shedding old pieces for new ones. But it brings up the question about Theseus' paradox. If every part of a ship is replaced, is it still the same ship? Am I still the same after all of this? I certainly don't feel the same. But I am, you see, a ship is just a ship, but with a captain and a crew, it becomes invincible in any storm, held together by salt water, loyalty, and like nails or something. <laughs> <laughs> You're greater than the sum of your parts. Your smile more than teeth and gums, but also joy. Your heart more than sinews and muscle, but also love. What we give significance to is what we are made of, even when the pieces, or the people, you don't want to let go of, just don't fit next to your heart anymore. Memories and moments, moments that are now classified as memories, even though you never wanted them to be, knowing means that they're in your past, when you wish they were present, you wish they were here, living and breathing with you right now. You wish they were here, but you don't fit anymore. Square peg in a round hole and leaves you feeling like you'll never be whole and it'll hit you when you least expect it. Let it be known that you have been and are and will be complete. And I know that doesn't change how empty their absence feels. But just remember, you are not a ship sinking, not a jigsaw puzzle people have to solve. Every piece of you, all your jagged corners, sharp edges, make you you. You aren't broken. You aren't missing anything. You are enough. Even when some days you just can't get up. Even when people tell you, I don't love you anymore. Even when people tell you, I don't, want, I don't think we should be friends. Even when you see on your phone red at 10.59 p.m. <laughs> Even when they leave. And that's okay. Not to fit any longer. And when it happens, and it'll happen, I hope you hold yourself gently with both hands. And I hope you keep those memories close, but knowing that they're just that. Memories. Sometimes time is the greatest distance between two people, but that doesn't mean you haven't had your impact on one another. You haven't had, it doesn't mean that you haven't had the chance to change one another for the better. And change is the only constant. If there's one puzzle piece you need to know about life, it's that. And if you get that, if you understand that, I hope you remake yourself every day. Stronger, smarter, better. And I hope you are a puzzle along the way. Woo!